Week one is done. Week two is about to begin. And it's about 11 o'clock right now. I slept in a lot. Just, I needed it. And I was about to get out just now, but then these guys happened. Look at this. Look at this guy. It's literally like petting fresh snow with this cat. Honestly. Changes to the diet this week are just the marinara sauce. We're cutting that out. And that should cut for about 350 calories, which should be enough of a drop. As you saw in the video from yesterday, I lost a total of 10 pounds since last week. But it's not all fat. I'm not gonna act like it is. Lave it is glycogen. Which is the carb, uh, carb source of energy in your muscles that your body stores for energy uh, during kinesthetic or whatever it's called physical activity, and uh, also water, just because it's a lot of fluid that we've been sweating and whatnot. So it's a mixture of the two. We have lost fat, but not ten pounds. Definitely not. And uh, our weight will be a little bit less when we weigh it than what it'll actually end up being after week four. Because we'll do a little carb up at the end to get our body filled up again on glycogen. So, uh, today, won't be doing chest. I'm not, I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna do that. That's, it's a risk on International Chest Day. So, either back or shoulders. We'll see what happens. But, gotta get breakfast going and let's get it done. Just one more walk. A little bit of walking before the workout even starts. My legs are still pretty sore from uh, Saturday's leg workout. Sometimes the movements. Uh, I'm walking, cause me to like give out because I'm so sore. But it doesn't look too bad, and uh, <laughs> homeboy just won't even show up late as usual. But we actually might do chest. It doesn't look too busy in here. Not too bad. It's like 5 o'clock at the uh, girl, Gold's Gym in Canada, Washington, Tri Cities. Back home for break. So, just. I'm gonna just treadmill. More on the legs. Try to get some blood into them. But, yeah. Find your chest. We'll see what happens. Yeah. Faster.
Yep. That's why I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One, one more time for I go. I have I was taking a hold on me. I need a one dance. Got a Hennessy in my hand. One more time for I go. I have I was taking a hold on me. So we did in fact end up doing chess today. Wasn't too um, too crowded in the gym and there was some Batches and space open, so there was enough for me and my friend Daniel to uh, to do some chest. So I started off with uh, incline bench, did four sets of ten to twelve, just focusing on contraction and working the muscle. Don't worry about weight. If you worry about weight, you're gonna get in your head, and you're not gonna you're not gonna do well. You're gonna psych yourself out. And for cardio acceleration, we did uh, mountain climbers. After that, we went over to uh, machine bench press, flat bench. And it was a different machine than probably some of you have seen before, but don't worry about it. You don't have to do the exact same as me. Just make sure it's a flat, flat press. The priority is the muscle you're working. Incline will work top of the, of the chest. For that machine, we work the middle. It doesn't matter, you don't have to do the same thing as me. Just make sure that you work all parts of the chest. Make sure it was a, it's a flat press. It doesn't have to be a machine. Can be that can be barbell, can be dumbbell, can be even cables if you wanted to. Or push-ups if you still feel like it. But just make sure it's an exercise that you're working in the middle of the chest. And there we did four sets of ten. And cardio acceleration was running in place. Next we went over to uh Pec deck, machine cable flies, and it was four sets of ten. Cardio in between sets was just bodyweight squats. I was feeling a little bit of a burn because my legs are still sore from uh, Saturday. So a couple of times I had to stop and take a breath, let my legs recover. During the exercise, make sure you get a good stretch at uh, the bottom of the rep. And make sure it's a good squeeze when you're holding the handlebars together. You notice I didn't grab the handlebars, I didn't use them because I feel like I don't get as good of a activation in my chest as I do just grabbing the uh, the metal arms that they have that connect to the machine. So I'm using those, I'm using those as handlebars and I'm pushing the handlebars, the actual handlebars together twice, ding ding, and letting it come back down. And uh, I find that really works the chest really well does a good job last exercise we did was uh, four sets of uh, kind of a variation of a, a decline press if you will and it was with the pad that they used uh, for uh, uh, what is that machine the dip machine and for that we did again four sets of ten 
cardio in between sets was just a little bit of tricep uh, kickbacks on the cable machine because it was right there and my legs were kind of burning at that point so I knew I had to stop so during the push downs of the, uh, the dip machine you're going quickly down squeezing your lower pecs and then come slowly back up trying to imagine you're pushing your hands together it's kind of like imagine cable crossovers you're trying to pull the <clears throat> sorry the grips together and it's kind of what you want to imagine with uh, the dead machine push downs it's with trying to imagine your hands being pushed together and it's going to help you contract your lower chest that much more and that was it for the workout and I already got a meal in gonna have uh, two more before I go to sleep and uh, yeah that's it for day eight down 10 pounds and uh, looking leaner I'll show you guys tomorrow morning with uh, how I look just because right now it's not gonna be an accurate description of or comparison of uh, towards what I uh, looked like last week in the morning so I'll show you guys that tomorrow but other than that that's it for today I'll see you guys tomorrow morning.